when we built our uh, facility that was an outpatient clinic, a surgery center with pharmacy, radiology, and laboratory in a suburban location, we took a lean approach to it and we did some fairly radical design approaches. First of all, we involve the contractors, uh, subcontractors, parents, physicians, nurses, all in the design process. We didn't do this craziness where we gave some words in a document to an architect who gave you some written plans that only people that think in three dimensions could possibly understand and then make some modifications and then during the building of the facility we said no, no no that's not what we meant at all we want it this way which then was a change order uh, contract renegotiations and delays so we built uh, we designed from the ground up with everybody using the facility involved in the design secondly we tried to remove as many steps as possible not and literally walk steps in many cases. And one of those was in the operating room. In a traditional operating room, you come into a pre-op area, a person sees you, they tell you not to worry, they strip you of your clothes, stick an IV in, do other things, they may give you some extra drugs, uh, they ask you a bunch of questions that you answered 10 times before, and then you sit around and wait till somebody comes and gets you and hopefully they're getting the right person to take to the right operating room because by that time you actually don't know who you are anymore. Um, and then when you come out of the operating room you go to the recovery room which is down the hall and you may or may not, you, you know, now you're a brand new person although completely comatose to a new set of individuals. In the design of our operating rooms, we do all the pre-op work in a room directly outside the operating room that connects only by a door. The pre-op is done by a nurse and anesthesiologist. At the end of any of the pre-op interventions, physical exam, uh, IVs, if that needs to be done at that time, uh, teaching, a door is open and the person is wheeled from the gurney they were on directly onto the operating room table, essentially. And the door shut and the operation starts with that anesthesiologist. No pass off from people. There are scrub nurses and surgeons in the room. When the operation is finished, the door on the other side of the operating room opens and the patient is, re is wheeled right into a little recovery pod using the nurse that they saw pre-op as their post-op nurse. So we've decreased handoffs, decreased walk steps, we've decreased waiting, and we've designed in a very efficient process.